Beyond ARTV, Beyond the Reviews, it's time for a music news update. Some 41 frontman Derek Werbley, a Canadian pop punker, is actually now in stable condition, but he did spend over a month in the hospital due to liver and kidney failure. What brought this on, you might be wondering? Alcohol, excessive alcohol drinking over the years. Derek's been known for his antics with drinking and drugs in the past. His marriage to Avril Lavigne ended his drug addictions because she didn't date people who did drugs, so he gave those up, but then the alcohol started flowing and it hasn't stopped ever since their divorce in 2007. And six, almost seven years later, we see Derek in a very desperate state. Look here, look at this guy. You don't even recognize him, do you? It's such a shame. And while this is kind of a music update thing, I also just kind of wanted to put my feelings on the whole situation out there. I thought that it was an extremely terrible thing, just what alcohol can do. Not necessarily just alcohol, and not saying that alcohol is bad in and of itself. Sure, you can use it to have a good time, but there are limits, and Derek clearly did not know his, and hopefully he does now, because the man will probably be dead within the next 10 years. Let's face it, once you've destroyed your liver and your kidneys, two very, very vital, well, three if you count both kidneys and the liver, three very vital and important organs to your body's well-being and functioning, um, he's destroyed those, and I don't know if there's really that much going back from that. I'm not an expert, obviously, but I really hope that Derek gets his life back on track. He has a fiance, he's engaged again. Um, he obviously has a lot of friends, I'm sure, that know and love and care about him, but he's driven people away due to his alcoholism and you know, members of the band have slowly faded away over the years, in some 41 that is. And while I'm sure that music has been the one constant in Derek's life, it's something that's going to have to save him here. It's going to have to get him to a better state of mind and a better place. Because right now, you know, like everyone is saying, he's a skeleton, a fraction of what he used to be. The man looks terrible. It looks like he's been through hell. What happened here is one night he said he was going to have, you know, another drink like usual and go watch a movie and he just kind of passed out and collapsed on the couch. Next thing you know, he's hooked up to an IV, unconscious, the first week in the hospital and spends another few weeks in the hospital and finally puts out an update uh, saying that he's alive but not well necessarily. So hopefully he's on the road to recovery. You know, the doctors are saying if he has literally one more drink, he will die. So hopefully, hopefully he can stick to not drinking because they will literally kill him. So I think the lesson we can all learn from this is that sometimes celebrities' lives go downhill quickly, but you know, in Derek's situation, I don't think that he is a, necessarily a bad person. He's just become a victim of addiction. We could all get addicted to things. And he's always been a pretty likable person, in my opinion, at least from what we see in the press. And so I'm wishing him the best of luck. My prayers and thoughts are with him and his family and his fiance during this very difficult time. What do you guys think about the whole situation with some 41 frontman Derek Werbley? Let me know in the comments section down below. Of course, check out my channel if you want to see more music news, track reviews, movie reviews. Thanks for watching ARTV. I will see you guys very soon.